everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at a newly released deck. It's been out since uh, early January 2023. We are in mid-February 2023, so it's been out about a month, maybe a month and a half. It's called Ethereal Visions Tarot. Now, this is the Luna edition, and it's published by uh, U.S. Games. So, shout out to U.S. Games for sending this to me to review. It is uh, in a hard case uh, two-part box. There is a thumb hole cut out, as you can see, and it's by Matt Hughes, um, in creating Ethereal Visions. So he created Ethereal Visions, and some of you may be familiar with his first deck. This is the first deck, uh, and then this is the second, second edition, all right? So I'll probably do a side-by-side -side comparison, uh, in another video, maybe one after this, um, to, so you can see, or if you don't have the first stack, so you can decide which one you want. Um, or if you have a first stack, you can decide if you want to purchase the second deck based on uh, what have changed. But anyway, it says, in creating Ethereal Visions to Row, Matt Hughes has uh, drawn inspiration from the Art Nouveau uh, movement, adopting its distinctive style and meticulous approach to craftsmanship. The artist created two additional cards to supplement the traditional major arcana. Every detail image in the 80 card deck is uh, hand-drawn and colored. The Luna edition includes revised artwork reflecting greater diversity, and each card is illuminated with iridescent silver foil stamping. It includes a 140-page expanded full-color guidebook. And, of course, it's published by U.S. Games, as I mentioned. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the inside. So it's just, uh, I guess that's a black, purplish color inside. And here's the guidebook. So nice, thick guidebook. And we'll take a look at that after we look at the cards. And the cards are underneath. They were bind. I took the binding off. So here's the inside of the box. Nice hard case box, as I mentioned. All right. And here are the backs of the cards. And comparing it to a plaid back tarot deck. It is a little larger. It's a little taller and a little wider. All right, so taller and wider. And it looks like they are reversible. They are not gilded. And um, the feel is papery, so it's paper, although there is a sheen, but there's no, no hard laminate coating. It's just, it feels papery. A little on the thinner side, uh, but not too bad if you're not hard on your cards. All right, and medium, I guess kind of, yeah, it's not like thin, thin, razor thin, but it is a little on the thinner side. There is a core in there though, so it's not too, too bad. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look at the cards. So we have the full. And there's the iridescent that you can see, silver iridescent foil stamp. The magician, so it's a female magician instead of the male, traditional male magician. I'm moving it around so you can see the colorful iridescent stamped effect. The high priestess. Very pretty. The Empress. The Emperor. The Hierophant. No people in this deck. I mean, yeah, no people on the Hierophant in the Hierophant card in this deck. The lovers, the chariot, 
That's really pretty with all the iridescent stars. Ooh, that's pretty. Strength. The Hermit. Pretty Hermit card. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man. Death. Temperance. Ooh, her wings are all iridescent. Look at that. That's really pretty. The Devil. The Tower. I like how they made his face like that. That's really cool. The Star. Ooh, the Star looks like it's shimmering. <laughs> The moon, the sun, judgment, and the world. So that completes the major arcana. And then we have two extra cards. The first one is the well. And then the second one is the artist. So these are the two extra cards because there's a total of 80 cards in this deck. So these are the two bonus cards. And then moving on to the minor arcana, starting with the suit of cups, we have ace of cups, two of cups, three of cups, four of cups. So this is pretty much standard right away. System, Five of Cups, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, and King of Cups. So next suit is Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. So it's a female instead of the traditional male. That's interesting. Five of Pentacles. So there's no church and no snow. Six of pentacles, seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles. That's a nice eight of pentacles. Nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles, page of pentacles. I like this page of pentacles. Looks like uh, she... Or he, she, he, I don't know. This in deep thought, like reflection. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and King of Pentacles. He looks like a wise king. Next suit is Swords with Ace of Swords, Two of Swords. Three of Swords, very red heart. Four of Swords, so it's a female instead of the traditional male in this deck. Five of Swords, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, and King of Swords. Next is the Suit of Wands with Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, 
Three of Wands, Four of Wands, no people again, Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, Heavy Burden, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, and King of Wands. And here are the backs one more time. And let's take a look at the guidebook really quick. So this is a harder cover page. Ooh, these pages are nice. Ooh, that's really pretty. Dedicated to my loving wife, Hope, without whom this would not have been possible. Your laughter makes each day worth living. How sweet. First edition, copyright 2022. A special thank you to intuitive tarot reader, Katsi Roman, who uses the lens of empowerment and compassion to invite spirit to help us seek authentic truth from a place of divine love her guidance and expertise with writing the card meanings and creating amazing spreads for reading with ethereal visions turns self-reflection into actionable steps to align with your higher self nice wow these pages are nice they're glossy and they're thick table of contents and introduction spreads major arcana minor arcana and then all the suits about the creator Introduction, tarot is a portal, cleansing your deck, oh smoke, I do sage my deck sometimes, breath, knocking, I do that too, oh I guess I sort of use the breath because I'm a Reiki master so I, I kind of attune my deck with the breath and drum and Reiki symbols, very interesting how they include all that, getting to know your deck, shuffle your deck, spreads, Single card, two cards, three cards, past, present, and future, energy, action, advice, present, challenge, breakthrough, the illuminated Luna spread, finding balance spread, and then notes, final reflection, major arcana. Ooh, you get a color picture of the card, and then the description upright reverse very nice i'm very impressed with the uh u.s games uh, guidebook the last one the uh ann stokes uh gothic oracle the guidebook was really nice they're like glossy thick pages thick cover beautiful full page color very nice and it feels good in your hand you know it feels like hefty and sturdy and nice like brand new you know like when you get a brand new uh deck the nice printing or a brand new crisp dollar bill you know not the toxic chemical ones that smells yucky um these are nice you know nice kind of print and feels good in your hand it doesn't feel it doesn't leave a film or feel gritty or sandy where you feel like you have to go wash your hands like some of the imitation cheaper decks. After I go through them, I have to go wash my hands. I can smell the toxicity and feel it. I have to wash, wash it off my hand. You can smell when it's toxic. US Games, I have to give it to them. They do really good print quality. So total of 139 pages and about the creator Matt Hughes is a self-taught traditional artist focusing on the aesthetic approaches referred to today as the golden age illustration his style combines inspiration from the art nouveau or nouveau 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 movement the pre-raphaelite movement and the symbolist movement to produce an artistic expression all his own Matt also created the Dreamscape Oracle in 2021. I don't have that one. I have seen that around, published by U.S. Games, Inc. 
All right, and there's the website. Very nice. Very nice, you guys. This is a really nice, very nice guidebook. Very impressed. All right, so I'm looking forward to reading with it. It looks very readable. It looks really nice. I can't wait. And then, like I said, I'm going to, for those who are interested, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the first edition so you guys can see the difference side-by-side. -side. Uh, and then if you don't have this deck yet and you're interested in purchasing it, I will put the link below underneath the video in the description. Hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye!